All right, Aspect Gaming here, back again. A little update from last time. I reworked the Applied Under 6 area a little bit. For now, I only have one row of controllers, and I have these smart cable, these dense cables here that basically let you see how many channels are being used in each of these. So we can see that in this one, this P2P, four channels being used out of 32. So this is the way that I wanted to do it. I think this is the best way to do it. And then, I think I'm just going to keep the rows going like this. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out when we get there. Overall, the system is using 78 RF per tick right now, which I'm pretty sure the water wheels are making more than that. So we are, have, we are being even. We're being at net even. So, oh, also down here, I, I did some work over here. So first off, as we can see, I made a new... Uh, lane going down. I just have a long cable currently. This is temporary, but it's going way down here. And I have it hooked up to a drawer controller in the floor in the center so that it hits everything. And all these are being sent into the A system. So that's kind of nice. Uh, you can already see, like, I have a lot more of like the divine the divine uh, ingots or whatever. And then gunpowder is no longer a problem. Twenty two stacks, so. I don't know what we could do with that. I was having... Let me see if this fixed it. I was having some issues with the item routing. Okay, yeah, I'm still having some issues with item routing. Because... <clears throat> some of the stuff doesn't like the... Um, it doesn't like being organized by the NBT that I'm doing. And I think it's just kind of circling in and out of it. Yeah, like I have to send um, gold pickaxes over here. So in the back over, this is actually a pain to do. I had to send gold and pickaxes and like all the armor into this chest to be smelted in the gold. And I have a compacting drawer in the bottom that is turning that into gold. And you don't get a lot, a lot from it, but you get a little bit. And it's having issues getting over here, I think. Because I, I want to have like a buffer chest for anything that can't be sorted otherwise stuff's gonna get stuck it's like i don't know why that isn't sorted correctly do i have one for sugar no i don't <laughs> but yeah i don't know i need to improve this sorting even more it might be a, not a bad idea to do like an a subnet down here honestly just to sort it all out and i don't know we'll just see how this works for now um, it's pretty good though. We're getting a lot of stuff. So I didn't want to take it and bring the leather. <clears throat> I guess the leather being over there is a problem. Yeah, and that makes sense that I can't get over to there. Just help it out a little bit so that it doesn't get stuck again. So yeah, there's just some like really rare drops that don't do anything. Like the witch hat and this ender crystal thing, like they don't really do anything. They're really rare. Just put these here. I don't know. <laughs> but for for now, that's good enough. <clears throat> I can improve that later. I gotta do some base expansion work, I guess. Dig out some more rooms. Not gonna be fun, but it's all right. So let's see what we're going to do. <clears throat> oh, I also made these um, looting upgrades. Maybe that's why I'm getting weird stuff now. Or like an excess of weird stuff. But it's okay. So we're about done with this tab for now. I still want to upgrade my power for... I still want to upgrade my GP a bit. But I don't, I don't really want to do this right now. I don't want to do it on camera at least. I just want to make like five, six water water mills, and these don't even generate that much anymore. And then the windmills. So I guess we're going, going to go to the thermal expansion page. So the main thing here are these machine frames, and now we're going to need a lot of gears. Honestly, I got a lot of tin. I'll just do a stack of gears. I 
I, I really could swear that you were able to take these things off. I feel like I had done it before. Yeah, I don't know. Why are we popping off like that? Okay, that's fine. So we let that run for a while. <clears throat> we get all the tin gears that we need. Now for the seared brick. Um, so these all required seared brick. You just throw this in the smeltery. Just throw um, any kind of stone in. So I'll make a stack of it for now. And just make sure that the ingot cast is on. <clears throat> I should have seared brick made already, actually. Yeah, do you have a stack made? So we need the RF powder. We got a good amount of that left. And then machine block. We're getting a whole bunch more of this atomic alloy. Which means we need reinforced alloy. Which means I need another infuser. Because I have one that's dedicated to redstone, one to diamond, and then these need reds these need uh refined obsidian. Yeah. So it shouldn't be too bad. Need more furnaces, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, so iron rods. And basically just coal blocks. Not gonna get me a lot of furnaces. Give me more cobble. I cannot wait for auto crafting, you do not understand. It's so it's gonna be so hype when we can get it. It's in a site. Need that alloy. Need HOP. What was the last part of the gum? Red alloy. Okay. Awesome. That means, though, that I gotta move all that stuff over, but I'll do that later. Okay, so this one's for obsidian. These are done already. Now, compressed obsidian. Is it to be refined obsidian? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's no problem, though. The refined obsidian got a lot cheaper for us. I already have a ton of it. So just throw a stack of it in to, the, in to get compressed. And to compress it, you just throw it in the enrichment chamber. So it's already more than enough for this thing. Okay. I don't want to overload it right now because I might move this to be with the other infusing factories. So for now, we just leave it like that. And it is slow. This is so slow. We need upgrades. Pain. 
How many of these can we make right now? At least a couple. Some of my tin got lost. I ordered 64 gears, not 63. Okay, one more. I want at least eight of these right now. Seems a lot of stone burnt too. We can get on that. I already have it. Nice. We also need a lot of steel casings, so let's make a bunch of them. We need more steel rods, so I'll pop in a stack of these to go. Oh, there's my the rest of my tin. I really just gotta make another one of these. I'll make two stacks of rods while we're at it. Okay, this will be enough for now, I guess. The machine frames. I would have liked to get eight, but it's okay. Seven's fine. Morphing tool. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is. But we did it. Now all these are unlocked. <clears throat> now over here, I spy the crafting terminal. I want that. So I think we're going to go over this way. Craft a device frame. This is for thermal expansion devices, which are machines that usually don't need any power to function. Okay, I don't actually know what these are. Oh, I guess they're just like a new tier that they invented for like the Aquaeus accumulator. There's a lot more of them now though. I don't know what these do. The accumulator. That's a cool that's a good name. That's a really good name. How do I do this? Platinum gear, you're shitting me. Alright. Um Yeah, I know I know how we have to get this. So platinum. We're going to get the dust, and it's a, probably a byproduct from pulverizer. Yep. So we need nickel ore. Yep, that's what we do. Okay. So we can't quite do this right yet because we need to get platinum. So let's make a pulverizer. It's a glacial precipitator. Pulverizer. It's not bad at all. It's a forged sinusite. Two of them. We need tin plates. I don't have tin plates. Those do not exist. Then I gotta come over here. I need nickel ore. Okay, yeah, I got rid of all of it. I hope that this thing still has a whole bunch more to mine. Because I had just processed all of it, I think. Because I, was, I wasn't thinking. All I was thinking is that this chest is full and I gotta empty it. <clears throat> That's enough plates for now. Ah, oh, should we need gears? Gold is becoming a bit of a problem right now.
That is a problem. Okay, I also need copper gears. <clears throat> Is that everything then? Yeah, pretty much. So they actually want me to go for induction furnace to get to the shiny metal. We can do this as well. It means we need an invar, we need some invar gears. Should still have a bit of invar made. Yeah, I do. You know, there actually there's like a gear working die, isn't there? Like gear work. Yeah, this is for the compactor. This is probably the better way to make gears than to use this stupid machine. Super, super compact, and just you just throw stuff in and it works. Let's craft the pulverizer. I didn't bring the red alloy, unfortunate. We'll do that. I don't know if I need more of the golden gears. <clears throat> okay, what else do I need for the induction smelter? Nothing. We can make four of them. Okay. Augment metallurgic recovery. I don't know what that actually does. Provides a chance to not consume metallurgical flux. I don't really know what that does. I wonder if it's just like a fancy way to say that it is. Getting a higher chance for the byproduct or something? I don't know. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen thermal expansion machines in my game. Where are we going to put these? I can expand the workshop into this wall as well. Because I kind of don't want to mix. Yeah, I can mix them. I can mix the machine walls. How bad could it get? <laughs> Do I have the cables I need? No, I don't. Hello? That was weird. We need to upgrade some of these cables again. It's basically free at this point. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, those have power now. Oh, my allergical flux. Okay, yeah, that's what that was. See, I don't... I guess that this is the flux or something? I don't know. Interesting. We'll throw the augment in there because it's the only one we have. Let's say something in the book. No, it doesn't tell me what this is in the book. But I think I, I think I've like surmised what that is. So, craft some Eyes of Enders in the smelter. 
crazy. We can do it. I make 16. We can like pulverize these or something, right? Yeah. Get a better get a better output of them. Okay, it's very slow for now, but eventually I'll be able to upgrade them very well. What is Mithril? Mithril is all the weird stuff. Oh man, that's actually ridiculous. Mana does Demon Lord and Plat. This won't be too hard, I guess, once we have all the dust automated. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Why did they just tell me to do these? How do we get Iridium? Direct one Iridium was like the rarest shit. It was so cool to have it. Where do I get it? I don't know. I'll figure it out. So... Yeah, more energy storage options. Mechanism options are kind of lit, though. Like, not gonna lie. Okay, Enderium is, is actually a pretty cheap material, honestly. It's weird how there's two recipes for it. Trying to figure out which one's cheaper. I guess this one's cheaper. It doesn't require sand, but this one requires less power in the arc furnace. I don't know. The yeah, enderium is a nice. Is always one of my favorite materials. I just love the texture of it. It looks so cool. We can get into jetpacks then. You can even do it like right now. It looks like, <clears throat> but. I'll just knock it out of the park when it's time to make like a fucking gravity chest plate or something. Let's claim the RF powder for that. That's really useful. So now we can make a compactor. This is the best way to make plates. That's awesome. We take that. Anything need else? Um, pistons. Yeah, I knew, I knew I made a lot of these ahead of time. When they give us the gear working die, thank you. <laughs> so now that we have that, this can go back on uh this can go back on rod duty. Almost broke the wrong one. Cool. What other machines are there? Glacial precipitator. You can only create snow, ice, or packed ice out of it if you just feed it with water. All right. Uh, I don't think I really need that right now. Or, like, at least right the second, because there's nothing that presents itself as useful, but it will be useful at some point, guaranteed. Let's actually make basalt. <laughs> Basically for free, with free water. That might be useful to make it so I don't have to break my pickaxe on the lava lakes anymore. Okay. So we need a fluid transposer. And the magma crucible. 
I should have the other brick lying around. I made sure to get a bunch from the fortress last time I was there. Yep. And this thing is two buckets. Okay, cool, they're done. <clears throat> so these two machines always go together pretty much. I gotta break the wood. I'm not going into my bag with the full inventory. So usually it's the fluid transposer in the bottom, I think. Like that. Pyroconvective loop. Greatly increases lava production speed. Wait, how do I make lava? Oh shit. <laughs> how do I make lava from this? Cobblestone for lava? Bro, that's crazy. That's a lot of energy though. That's kind of nice though. Like if energy is essentially free, that's broken. I'll hang on to that definitely. Okay, let's see what recipes are in this right now. <clears throat> okay, a lot of recipes, so. Ooh, craft all four types of thermal expansion and dusts. Yeah, I gotta do a whole setup for this. I think it's gonna go in the basement, probably. So yeah, the four of them. Cryothium, you need to get blizz powder, and you can make that with using, you make a fluid transposer to make snowballs, and then you use liquid XP on it in the um, fluid transposer, I think. And then blitz powder is niter and liquid XP, and then to get niter, it's pulverized sandstone, so that could be automated, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So yeah, crush gravel. When you get gravel, you can crush cobblestone. Yeah, okay. What is the world interaction? Or what do they call them in this? Interaction? I'm thinking about the... Um, it should be in here. The item transfer node is highly upgradable. There's a way to automatically mine like cobblestone in a for like an easy cob works with with the item transposers. Or at least there used to be. Upgrade mining. Yeah, this is what I want. <clears throat> it's not that's not hard at all. It might be time to do some automations finally. I'm actually is necessitating me to have a cobble works, so that shit's pretty easy to make, so. Let's get let's get it going. Okay. So we need a bunch of stone burnt. Red alloy. What else do I need? That's basically it. Yeah, one for now will do. <clears throat> I don't have much of a plan to use these otherwise. So we need an upgrade base. I should have some of those left. No, I don't. So that was enriched alloy in the resonator. 
I'll send like 16 of these to make. That's going. I don't really know how many of these I'm going to need. I'll see what one does for me. And we'll go from there. Energy upgrade. My mom here might as well make a speed upgrade as well. Okay, we're making a lot. There's a lot of like threads in my brain right now. There are just many things I'm doing. So that's going. I want to crush a little bit of osmium. And yeah, whatever, I'll just get it all in the output in the end. And then I need Osgol glass again. Hopefully, I have some left over from when I made a bunch of it. Yeah, I do. Everything's coming together. Where are my osmiums? I need one extra of these. Cool. So then for the mining world upgrade, I need the enchanted ingot as well. Let's get one of those. Easy. So honestly, the hardest part of this is finding a place where um, I'm able to have lava. Because look at my floor. It's all dark oak. So we got to build a little special area, I think, for this. Maybe we can go over here. Well, let's see how this is running. Yeah, we're getting a lot of nickel. That is perfect. How are we on power? We're good. Hmm. Wonder where I should put this thing. Yeah, I guess over here is fine. Just flatten out this area a little bit because it's a mess. I won't dig out the whole thing right now, I'll just do a little bit so that I can just have a big enough area to work in. <clears throat> and then I'll get just get going. I think I just broke a wire. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. It might have just been a weird rendering thing on my side, I don't know. Looked like something broke though. Okay, so now that's filled in, I mean, a bucket of lava. Easy enough, we got that. Okay, so something over here. Yeah, we take osmium, we take that. I'll just put it on cobblestone for now because I... I can get basalt later, or decide on a different floor, maybe even. I was thinking about doing like different themes all over the base of building. I don't know yet. Especially when I get outside, because I don't want to just have the same exact uh, building pattern for everything, you know? I get tired of that shit. There's more osmium on the floor. Yo! That was an eighter. An eight-piecer of osmium. Goddamn, we need that. All right. Right here. Now, if my, I need to remember how to even do this. <laughs> it really isn't difficult. I just want lava to flow and water to hit it. So lava flows four blocks, so put it back here. <clears throat> I 
My brain is not working right now. So if I do like this, it's gonna keep it's gonna keep pushing back, I think. Okay, it doesn't even work if I do it like that. What? Oh, I guess lava only flows four blocks. So actually what I want it to do is flow into the water. That's what I want. Because if the water flows into the lava, it breaks that shit. See, so yeah, like this. So then I want the lava to do something like this. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, so let's do this. I just want to like mark the area a little bit if I can. Okay. <clears throat> no power used or generated. You're allowed to do it. I don't know how to make it do it. <laughs> oh, I picked it up that time. I guess because I broke it. Upgrade mining, right? Yeah, the mine upgrade similar to the old world interaction upgrade. It mines cobblestone in place inside a transfer node, which is over a full block with water and lava sources on the side. Okay, anyways, I'm going to need a bunch of uh, storage drawers. So let's grab those. <clears throat> I wonder if it doesn't want to do it because it doesn't have an inventory or something. I'm going to need my key as well. Okay, so you are cobblestone. I wonder if I need like any, like just any upgrade speed at all in it, you know? Like even if it's just one speed upgrade, maybe it like needs that to work. Otherwise, there's zero speed. I don't know. It's just it's just a theory. Still one of you. Why does it keep, why does it say X is zero, Y is zero, Z is zero? Power drain one. Bro, what is going on? <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to figure out how this thing works. I'm right back. Alright, I'm back. <clears throat> um, it was a lot simplified. It was like a simplified version of what I was doing. Where you just need the source blocks there. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be flowing correctly. So, that's fixed. So now we're generating cobblestone. So now with the cobblestone, what is the best way to crush it? <laughs> so crushing when this goes to gravel, you get 10% sand as a byproduct. Well, I think pretty much any other crushing method is going to give either only gravel or only sand. Yeah, I think we'll put our extra utilities crusher to use here. Okay, so I think I want to do like something like this. I need my servos. I forgot the servos.
<clears throat> so this thing goes here. Probably don't even need speed upgrades in this because it's just going to run all the time for now. There's no um, like directional inputs or anything on this thing. So I guess we'll just do this. Pull out of the top into a, another drawer. Actually, there's two outputs. I like Crescent Hammer this the right way. No. Fuck you, why? I want it to be how I want it to be. There we go. Okay, so this is going to come into here. This needs power, number one, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, if that was the lava right there, I would have been pissed. Not like these are expensive, but goddamn. Alright. Um, HV wire connector. I mean, don't have any left. Yeah, I really don't. Let's get one of those. I don't think I have much terracotta left, if, if any. We have a little bit. Aluminum. Steel. Three. Whatever. So a little something like this. Um, shit. It's going to be blocking the point of view of it a bit. Whatever. <laughs> Ouch, that shit hurted. Get me out of here. Oh, oh god. Yeah, this is a hazard. Dangerous. Um, I'll reroute that later on. What's the chance on sand? Ten. Okay. So then the gravel, while useful, it will be... It mostly exists to be crushed again. This sand. We could just make another crusher. I promise I need this um, burnt quartz. And nether quartz is becoming a very valuable resource at this point. We we'll also need more speed upgrades. I mean, realistically, I'm not going to use this thing very often, I don't think. At least not for now, so we can get away with taking these for now and moving them down there. Cannot wait to get auto crafting and everything. It's gonna be so good. Surprised on this recipe memorized by now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna use them.
pick. You got them. So then I'm going to go down there. And do something like this. In their servo. I actually doubt that the servo will be able to keep up if I put four speed upgrades in here. No, it will. So now we can sand. We could also make glass with this thing. Another concern that um, exists is that making the am I thinking of? Oh yeah, getting like the drawer connections in the end. <clears throat> I can just stick a big cable over it, I guess, and use a controller and put their own storage bus on it, but it's not exactly an elegant solution. Regardless, we can do something like this for now. Actually, I think I want to change the way this is set up right now. Yeah, I want to raise this up a block. It doesn't mean you can connect there, though. Okay. So they want the inputs to be like this. <clears throat> okay, and the outputs go up like that. Because then, fucker, this future proofs it, so then I could just run a drawer on the back, basically. To make sure that they all just get um, connected together. So this is for sand. Let me lock that. Let me run this in the top like this. We turn these off. And the sand should also go up and out. It's having a hard time getting to it because the gravel keeps coming in. There we go. The second like the resin um, gravel to take out, the sand went out. So if the sand ever fills up, it'll just stop working, and then we'll pull the gravel out and get rid of the sand. So that's not that's not going to be a problem, thankfully. <clears throat> Yeah, automated sand now. And what did I even do this for? I forget. Is it for all this? Yeah, pulverized sandstone to get niter. So, for now, I don't think I'm going to automate that quite this second. Because look what we got right here. <laughs> but in the near future, I definitely will. For now, this is a nice little setup that I just got inspired to make, I guess, so. Yeah, we're chilling. That'll be it for today's episode. Next episode, we are going to automate all of these, most likely. And get them all automatically crafting so that I can do stuff with them. Because these things are going to be very important and very useful. Pretty much just all around. Yeah, we can make a lot of stuff with all these different things. So look forward to that, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.